little Caleb Esteban Ravina. Let's have him come on up. <clears throat> With his mom and dad. Oh, my word. I've gotten to hold him on a couple of occasions. Look at him. And so Edwin is going to come, and Edwin is from Peru. Is that, is that correct? Okay. And so together they're going to uh, read the life verse that they have uh, for him. Yes. God, Pastor Ron. Good morning, everybody. In este momento, voy a considerar el libro de Salmos para presentar a mi hijo Calet a Dios. Ah, es Salmos, capítulo 139, versículo 13 al 15. Y dice así, porque tú formaste mis entrañas, tú me hiciste en el vientre de mi madre. Te alabaré porque formidables, maravillosas son tus obras. Estoy maravillado y mi alma lo sabe muy bien. No fue encuentro de ti mi cuerpo, bien que en oculto fui formado y entretejido en lo más profundo de la tierra. So, um, what Edwin was saying is, is this is uh, the book of Psalm, and we present our son, Caleb Ravina, to you, God. Psalm 139, 13 through 15. Um, Amplified says, For you did form my inward parts, you did know and knit me together in my mother's womb. I will confess and praise you, for you are fearful and wonderful, and for the awful wonder of my birth. Wonderful are your works, and that my inner self knows right well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret, intricately and curiously wrought, embroidered in various colors in the depths of the earth. 16 says, for your eyes saw my unformed substance, and your book, uh, and in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape. And when it was, when as yet there were none of them, how precious and weighty are your thoughts to me, O oh God! How vast are the sum of them! Amen. And uh, Romans five three, Edwin's going to read, and then I'll read. En esta vez hemos, vamos a usar otro verso en el libro de Romanos, para usarlo como verso de familia. Y no solo esto, sino que también nos gloriamos en las tribulaciones, sabiendo que la tribulación produce paciencia. It says, moreover, let us also be full of joy. Now let us exult in triumph in our troubles and rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship of produce patience and unswerving endurance. That's our family verse as we go through this trial with Caleb. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, in Spanish. Uh, solamente pido a Dios que pueda aceptar a este bebé, Caleb Rabina, en el plan perfecto de vida que él tiene para todos nosotros. This is my God, Lindsay and Edwin Rabina. We request that you accept our son, Caleb, into your perfect plan for life. Amen. Amen. We want to dedicate this little one to the Lord, and um, we need to pray for little Caleb. Uh, he, was, he was born with a liver that wasn't functioning correctly. And uh, he had some surgery at Children's Hospital, and uh, we were praying, believing that uh, God would use that surgery to heal him or that he would supernaturally heal him. We know that he can. Uh, but for whatever reason that only God knows, he chose not to. And his little liver just isn't working. And uh, he's, they're, they're trying to get him old enough to be put on a list for a liver transplant. And Lord willing uh, that the Lord will either heal him 
or provide a liver for him and heal him that way, or ultimately heal him by taking him home. Now, the glorious thing about God's word is he said he knows him. He formed him while he was in his mother's womb. The Bible says that he knows the number of his days. I believe that with all my heart. And when the Lord calls us home, he calls us home. Sometimes he does it at the age of 110, 115, 112. Sometimes he does it before they're out of the womb. Sometimes he does it uh, just out of the womb. We don't know. We can't understand God's ways, but he understands them. And he is a merciful God. And I believe with all my heart that God can heal this little boy. But I would not presume to know God's perfect will. But the Bible says that when you pray, pray with belief. And it says you pray and you do not receive because you do not ask. And when you ask, you ask amiss. In other words, you ask selfishly. And so as a church, we're not going to ask selfishly today. We're going to say, Father, thy will be done. Oh, Lord, it is our desire that you heal this little man. But, Lord, we believe in the sovereignty of God. We believe that your perfect will will be done and will be accomplished. So let's pray together, dedicating him to the Lord and praying just for his little life. Father God, we come before you right now. We're humbled at this opportunity as a church body to pray, Lord God, for little Caleb. We believe, Lord, with our whole heart that you knew him according to your scriptures before he was in Lindsay's womb. We believe, Lord, with our whole hearts that you're able to heal him and we ask that you would in Jesus' name. We know that you're able to. With a, with a transplant or without, we know that there is nothing too hard for you. And above all else, Lord God, on behalf, uh, Lord God, of Edwin and Lindsay, Lord, we dedicate him unto you for your service, for your work, for your ministry. You have blessed so many with his little life already in these short days that he has been alive. And we know, Lord God, you will bless him with the number he has, Lord. You know what that is. We turn that over to you, Lord. We don't need to know because you know. And so, Lord, as a church body, we stand with this couple. We stand with their grandparents and the rest of the family to say, Father, we love you. We trust you. You are the author of life. And we believe, Lord God, that your perfect will will be accomplished. Thank you, Lord God, that we can come together as a church body. Thank you, Lord God, that we can commit these things to you and that we can dedicate, Lord God, as his parents, as his grandparents, and as his church family. We dedicate, Lord, a little Caleb Ravina to you. And we pray in Jesus' name, thy will be done. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's a cutie. I'd die for hair like that. I would die for hair like that. God bless you.